Who is Sparkle? I really don't know. Are you Sparkle? Are you Sparkle? I don't know who Sparkle is. And today I'm going to be listening to her character demo. I don't know who Sparkle is, but I'm going to find out today. That's a bullet. Sparkle seems like uh, not the best person in the world, does she? Big swell there, as we launch into uh, this music. And it's really interesting because that swell is gonna lead us into probably some character development musically as well. Let's check, let's keep going. <laughs> So we're getting some dilapidation. We're getting the whistle tone. We're getting some whistle tone. We're getting some dilapidation. We get a little bit of that uh, discomfort in a lunacy. Uh, there's a real feeling here of not being uh, well, of being a little bit uh, Harley Quinnish, a little bit, uh, a little bit playful, a little bit malevolent. Definitely uh, not well adjusted. And it's interesting because what this music tells us is, is I don't care about what you have to say. I don't care about who you are. I don't care about your perspective on things. I don't care about your opinion about anything. You could say that she sounds completely unhinged, which is totally fair, but there is a degree of whatever. And the uh, singing of course represents her. It's very, very, very playful in that sense. There's, it's not very deep in that way. She's very casual about everything. <laughs> Again. <laughs> and this represents danger. Ba, 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 punch. That represents the danger. It represents the fact that there's no care or concern or thought for other people's feelings. It's all about what Sparkle wants to do and what Sparkle wants to be. And that's going to be very present there in about five seconds, I think. She's obviously also talking to herself. There's a dynamic here of interpersonal, interconnected relationships with herself, knowing herself, even though who knows uh, what's actually going on in that brain of hers, right? What's your wager? The life of a faker. <laughs> Looks like someone's in my way. So what? Let me tell you what foolishness is. Pretending to be smart, like you. I mean, the visuals here are outstanding, and and again, there there is a bit of that heavy grind in this that makes us feel like, oh, Sparkle is actually really, really dangerous. I think this may be Mihoyo's first, second, third character that really feels bad, that doesn't have a lot of redeeming qualities. I know that there was a a, a, a small cohort of people on Twitter that were trying to get Sparkle canceled, uh, which is amazing. And uh, it makes me want to C6 her or whatever they call E6 her as much as possible uh, just out of spite. But I, I won't because uh, I'm saving my pennies for other things. But it's a really interesting thing that here we have this this grinding quality there, which is representative of her capacity for evil and her capacity to not care about what you have to say and her capacity to say, well, screw you, I'm living my life my way. And, uh, and also her violence and her danger. Ew. Then, what is a fool? Knowing when to act clueless. Like I do. <laughs> do you get it now? What nice is elation? Me. I am elation. <laughs> Awesome psychedelic, big transition there. It's really fun because I am elation. That's when she really comes into her own in this particular trailer and she says, hello, this is who I am. And we launch into that. And it's really, really satisfying uh, to have that beat pattern there to showcase a eclectic variety of her of her different emotions and her different ranges of intensity there. It's uh, she definitely comes across as not a nice person. <laughs> And we see the title of this being called monodrama. And I think that that's a really important thing to think about because monodrama is a drama based around one person. It's not 
It's not a, a duet. It's not a trio. It's it's a mono drama. It's connected to one person and connected to us, uh, or herself, I should say. And that's really fun. And I think it comes across because she's not only having conversations with herself, but also she is really um, leaning into what her identity is and who she feels she is. Nice piano lick there. <laughs> Were you scared just now? Yeah, it's great. The the whistling there creates such a wonderful feeling of tension and fear. And uh and boy, she is just adorable in her evil and uh yeah i really like her as a character she's pretty cool i can't wait to see her in Pentacani. if you like this sort of stuff feel free to like subscribe there's actually a bunch more honkai star rail on the channel that you can check out and more honkai star rail to come thanks a ton see you later